Hello, today I am going to teach you about HTML list tag. What is the use of list tag? A list tag is used to display sequence of elements or items. For example, suppose you want to create a continuous sequence of elements such as roll numbers, name of the students like that. If you are going to display any orderly elements, then you should go with HTML list tag. In HTML list, there are three types. First thing is ordered list, second is unordered, and the third one is definition list. First, I will teach you ordered list. To create ordered list, the main tag is OL. I said you earlier that all the opening tags have a closing tag. So I am closing the OL tag. Now, for example, I am going to create some five elements a b c d and e how many elements are there five so i have to create five pair of li li is nothing but list tag in first thing i am giving content as a likewise now i am going to create five elements so i need five set of li so i am opening other four three four and five now we can change the content inside this. See, if you are going to create only 5 elements, then you should create 5 set of li. If you are going to create 10 elements, then you have to create 10 set of li. So, as the number of element increases, you have to create that number of list tags. Got it? Now let's check the output for this. Clear? See, ordered list gives you output with some sequence of order. 1, 2, 3 is nothing but number wise order. So, ordered list yields a sequence output. Then, what is the use of unordered list? See, for unordered list, we have to change only the main tag. U, L. Nothing but unordered list. I am now saving this. Got it? So, when I am using unordered list, I will get some unordered type of result. When I am using ordered list, I will be getting some sequence that is number wise sequence of output. These are the two main types of list. Now, let us go a little deeper inside this unordered list. See, now I am getting output of bullet marks. Some people will like square shaped output or some disk shaped output. So, we can change this using style. In style, there are three types. I am now using inline style. Styles, I will clearly explain you in my CSS tutorial. Now, just have an idea about it. So, this is nothing but the property. List style type is nothing but property. The main syntax for declaring style is property colon value followed by semicolon. Now, I am giving the value as square property colon value semicolon now close this bracket i'm now saving this got it now i'm getting a square shaped output now you can even change this as circle see i'm just changing the value not the full property circle file save Refresh. Got it. So, I am getting some circle type of output. Now, in ordered list also, I can follow the same things. Sorry. Ordered list. See, the basic output of an ordered list is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, if people doesn't want 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, if they want Roma letters, capital 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 like that, then we have to change the type. There is an attribute called type. I am specifying it as Roma letters. Now, I am saving this. 
got it like this i can change the display output if i want some a b c d then i can change this as a clear so now i think you are clear with ordered list and unordered list the last type is nothing but your definition list see what why we will give a definition we will give a definition only for some terms if suppose i am taking an example of apple apple is a term if somebody asks me what is an apple how will i explain i will be telling them apple is a fruit it is very good for health like that i will give some definition for that term the same thing if you are going to give multiple definitions for continuous elements then you will use definition list the base tag for this is d l now i am closing this d l first thing term definition term for example i am keeping now as fill now i am going to define this apple so definition data it is a fruit slash dd now if i want to explain one more term then another dt followed by orange slash dt then i am giving definition for this particular fruit some dummy contents slash d d now we will check the output for this got it term followed by definition term followed by definition like this you can create some sequence of element using definition list i hope you are all thorough with list properties there are three types ordered list which will give ordered type of output unordered list which will give bulletin output and last thing is definition list which will give an output like this we'll catch you in my next tutorial bye bye